All right, party people, we are going to the 2021 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. Get ready, buckle up. They were both asked, these two, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, about Bitcoin, and they commented, and I just want to say prop to whoever uh, thought up this question and asked it. It might have been this woman. It might have been a shareholder who submitted the question, but it is pointed to say the least. Let's take a listen in. Now that the crypto market overall is valued at $2 trillion, do you still consider cryptos as worthless artificial gold? (laughs) All right, look at Mr. Munger here on the right. Now he's looking like, who let this question slip by? Bitcoin, we really have to talk about Bitcoin here. I knew there'd be a question on Bitcoin or crypto. (laughs) On Bitcoin? Well, I've watched these politicians dodge questions all the time, you know, and, and, and uh, I always find it kind of disgusting when they do it. But the truth is, I'm going to dodge that question because the, we probably got hundreds of thousands of people watching this that own Bitcoin. And we probably got two people that are short. So we got a choice of making 400,000 people mad at us and unhappy and or making two people happy. And that's just a dumb equation. So I'll... I'll I disagree. I think the choice is between having an open, transparent dialogue between Bitcoin detractors, which may or may not include also a classical economist right beside here, Mr. Buffett and Mr. Munger, but also the Bitcoin community so that each can have a better understanding of what the other's point of view is. And instead of doing that, Mr. Buffett is more concerned with angering people or not. Let's hear what Mr. Munger has to say after... uh, Mr. Buffett concludes his comments. I thought about it. We had, we had a governor one time in, in uh, Nebraska and uh, a long time ago, but uh, he would get a tough question. You know, what do you think about property taxes or, you know, what should we do about schools? And, and he'd look right at the person and he'd say, I'm all right on that one. <laughs> and then he'd just walk off. Well, I'm all right on that one. And maybe we'll see how Charlie is. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised these two have not busted out the peanut brittle yet, the Seeds Candy peanut butt brittle right here. I know crunchy things are good for uh, stress. I think if any of you are eating too many chips, for instance, it might be a stress issue. You might switch to carrots. But it looks like these two at any moment are going to just bust out the brittle. Well, those who know me well are just waving the red flag as a bull. Of course, I hate the Bitcoin success. And hate is a very strong word here. Bitcoin makes Mr. Munger angry. I don't welcome a currency that's so useful to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth, nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. When you're buying Bitcoin, you're not sending money to the designer of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, who mined coins in its early days and then stepped aside from the project. So, um, Mr. Munger, you are engaging in in a peer-to-peer transaction when you're buying Bitcoin or you're buying it from a a third-party exchange, but you're not doing business with Mr. Nakamoto. And I think that comment demonstrates Mr. Munger's kind of uh, lack of understanding when it comes to Bitcoin and crypto generally so I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization whoa okay so let's back up here there's a lot to unpack all right so wow it's disgusting and I I would disagree with uh, mr. Munger here I would say that actually Bitcoin is a phenomenon of this civilization which he is he thinks he's defending and mr patrick byrne argue, has argued this for a while and i think if you look into the ideological origins of bitcoin you'll find that there is a classical uh, liberal slant which oftentimes today is uh, termed maybe uh libertarian but the ideas 
in which Bitcoin is couched are distinctly Western civilization and they're distinctly civilized. So I think Mr. Munger is uh, mistaken here. So main point being that Bitcoin is a phenomenon of civilization. So not a um, kind of external force. Let's leave the criticism to others. <laughs> I'm all right on that one. <laughs> All right, everyone, head on over to goldsilverbitcoin.com for more writing. Have a great day.